that uh, we are going to be changing our conceptual language, but that just means that being consistent with the new conceptualization of what animal rights, uh, uh, what rights and animal rights are for. Uh, so for, uh, uh, for there's no way that we can be consistent with all. Uh, for, uh, for there's no impact of genocide coming off the third argument. This is just a, the second argument. This is just a slippery slope. There's no re well, reason why just because we lose some number of force, that's going to automatically justify the Holocaust. And additionally, there's no reason why that this impact is relevant under this framework for Charter because the ACI ethic specifically gets out of this. The ACI ethic talks about the community and says that individuals don't have values of the community. So that means that we don't devalue individuals, we don't devalue humans, or we don't say that humans are the only things with normative worth. I just say that he, that, 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 that like the community is going to encapsulate all of this. That means the community can still present relative, like, re re relevant normative guidelines and normative force. So it's like independent of individuals. All the arguments in the ANC are talking about an individual, but fits around it again because it's argument about what is normatively true, like what, what is true of our language is just an assertion. If I win my, but it, it's just an assertion. There's no reason why this is the correct normative interpretation. People are going to disagree with this stuff all the time. Then go to the AC. For, go to the AC contentions first. Extend the first AC, extend the uh, first AC. Ralston Carter coming up the first connection to the AC, which is that, that, that our moral community is going to extend to the entire world because we are all interconnected. That means we all relate to each other. We all group all of his turns. His turns are all impacting back to a notion of animals not being able to be moral agents. This is irrelevant under my standard. His only argument for why this is relevant is going to be the evidence we raise against the framework. The Fox evidence that says that, we, that in order to like in order to be well like considered a moral individual, you have to like you have to be able to conceive, conceive of your evidence within the community. However, the AC, as, as, as long as I'm winning the AC framework, that means that we don't care about individuals. We don't care about how individuals are going to be moral agents. We just care about what the community is going to value. That means as long as we have, we have obligations to everyone we interact with and are interrelated with, it doesn't matter whether animals can claim these rights themselves or whether animals can be part of our moral community in the way he talks about. As long as they interact with us and they're interrelated, that is sufficient. So I'm winning the contentions. I'm winning like, the AC framework. That is all I have to do to win. All of his, all, all, like, it, literally every single one of his terms is saying that animals can't recognize themselves as rights holders. Oh, and all, the number four term says with this would justify giving bacteria rights, but one, there's no reason why that's problematic. The AC framework just says we give them like general worth. That doesn't mean that we, this would stop immunization because I'm not defending absolute rights, I'm just saying that we have, like, the, like, we have to give them a general level worth, and two, I would say that the bacteria probably aren't interrelated with us in the same way because they're not affected by the environment and the ecology in the same way the, human, the animals are. Then, go to the framework. So, extend Taylor 1 and Taylor 2. These tell you that we can't have any meaning outside of the interrelations because things, things only have meaning in, like, in, in, like, in the context, like, things only have meaning and don't have meaning in isolation. They only have meaning in the context of the interrelated web of connections that they develop. This also takes up the NC because he's talking about the fine, like, being inconsistent with the word right. However, there is no meaning in outside of the interrelated connections. So this, this also takes out the reason for the NC framework that he, uh, read, like, that he read against the AC because there's no way that we can, like, uh, uh, because there's no way that we can know about language outside of the connections. This just has communitarianism because that means that individuals only have obligations from the community. His argument about how this is his for number one and number two responses are one assertions and two not, uh, but, 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 but two don't take this out because I'm, like, because with the communitarianism proves that there's no individual identity. I, we can't have individual meaning outside of the interrelation of what actions. This also, uh, so, 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 so that means we don't care about individuals making morality. Then his argument about how just because it comes from morality, not mean it has value is nonsensical because I'm not saying that we have to value the community. I'm just saying that we have to value everything that's in the community because we develop our morals within the context of the community. I'm not assigning value to the community. This also takes out the number four, or no, uh, the number four argument. The number five argument doesn't make sense because I'm not talking about specific rights. I'm not advocating specific rights in the, that, we, that we would give to animals. I'm just saying that they have a general level worth. And finally, he says I'm confirming the consequence, but this is not true. I'm just saying that only morality, morality comes from the community. Morality is within the community. We only value things that are in the community. I see.
start on the AC, on the Cohen evidence, and then we'll go from there. Does everyone know where we are? Sorry. Okay, cool. She is conceding a turn that links back to her conception, communitarianism. My common evidence indicates that we cannot recognize animals as rightful because they're not being capable of uh, responding to moral claims, or uh, they're not animal animals are not being capable of ex exercising or responding to moral claims. The holders of rights must have the capacity to comprehend rules of duty governing all. Only in the community of beings capable of self restraining judgments can the concept of right be invoked. Humans are members of communities governed by moral rules. We must not infer that a being has simply being alive a right to its life. This assertion is an assertion without a warrant. You'd be preferring my evidence, one, because it speaks to specific contextualization of rights. You can call for the evidence out the run and talks about why, why, why animals are not. Not going to be a rights holder, while well, you can call for her entire case. It doesn't talk about anything about rights or even the contentional cards or affirmative cards. It talks about what it means to actually be a rights holder. It talks about what it means to like, have a self. There's no reason why that talks about rights whatsoever. In addition, there was clear analysis in the last piece that indicates that this, even in regards to definition, animals are not the kind of not in the kind of community that has rights because they can't ever exercise moral claims. They can't form inner relations within other individuals because they can't correspond to what it means to have a do. These are not they're not reciprocal with, what, with animals and humans. This are including things back to her standard and her conception tailor. This is one hundred percent conceded. This is a very easy way out from negative. In addition. I'm, gonna be, I'm way ahead on the NC because she's conceding the NC framework and she's conceding two responses to her framework. You can send my fifth response, the mailman example. This argument is the community providing those things is proof that the community doesn't have those rights. Those things are transferred to an individual. If you're a mailman, if the mailman gives mail to an individual, that mailman doesn't have a right to read your mail. Individuals should be able to take advantage of their own rights in the same sense. In the same sense, the community has no value whatsoever. We do not care about the community whatsoever. We only care about the individual. That's true. Then the, the notion of person, and individual, and individuality is what is a relevant consideration. In addition, I'm winning the next argument, which is going to be big, because she's not meeting any conception of justice. This argument is a sixth argument. It says that her argument is a non-secular just because the self is constant of the community, as her evidence indicates, does not entail that justice is supposed to transcend the self, and that justice is, is what is constant of the community. That means her framework is not, a, is not an analysis of justice. It does not speak to justice as being part of the community. It just merely says that this is what the self is, but there's a, there's a huge distinction between the self and the justice. In addition, it's very clear what my argument is. She needs reasons why animals are part of the community. There must be a relevant feature to the community that she's tracking and explain why animals meet that feature. The arguments in the contention that she's extending do not meet that same relevant feature that she's tracking in the framework. I am the only one to do that because the animals uh, do not comprehend the same role of duties and rights. In addition, go to the NC. I made these arguments on the AC about reasons to prefer the NC. She's conceding two reasons, uh, weighing comparison that's being done. She's reason why she prefer the NC framework. The first is that nothing exists outside of her language. The app framework is impossible to attempt to drive morality from objective external facts, but those aren't grounded in inherent meaning. In addition, the affirmative framework too, she still loses the debate because she is not consistent with my standard. Otherwise, normal terms lose their, their meaning and render nonsense when the ethics collapse. So good at Wittgenstein. Sorry, I'll it. Except I'll for instance, we cannot accept language. The limits of my language be the limits of our world. Nothing exists to us uh, unless it has conceptual meaning instead of forming theory about justification for moral action. We have to look at normal meanings and inherent language. This was 100% conceded. It's really easy whether I'm wearing the NC framework. Now go to the contention level. She labels a lot of things as turns, but unfortunately these are not turns. They're not talking about how the, the term animal rights is grounded within our normative structure. That's it. That's why I said she has to do what she's just saying. Turn, this is an assertion. Those are not actual link turns not proving why I'm being inconsistent with language structures. None of these are turns. So group her one, three, and eight. She says we can change our conception just as language is flexible and that it's not consistent, but this is not response to internal warrants that total cards. We can't change our conception just because the only reason we treat people in certain ways is because we believe that they're fundamentally special. The point where everyone is special, no one compels their attention because everyone is equal. In addition, this also takes out our, our second response is that the different meanings of language is very clear meaning of language. We talk about what it means for a hu uh, human term, but we introduce new terms of animal rights. Say those are equal to the human to human rights that destroys our normative structure. So extend the out total one answer that believe that humans are special about lives the very base of normative language. This do we believe cannot be challenged by moral theory. Only human beings are individualist in the meaningful sense of the term. Clans of human animal quality or as uh, the firm does is a term of meaning blindness that made no sense in relation to our language. Every form of ethics relies on a conception of individuality which is based on humanity. We have, we have to rely on this conception of ethics to make any sense at all. When you make it so that humans are no longer special, a separate moral we lose that concept.